Howdy folks, good day to you and welcome back. If this is your first time here, just welcome. I'm glad you were here. I know that I'm glad to be here. This is a 2012 Doge Grand Caravan. 47,035 miles on the odometer and customer states there's something hanging and dangling off the front of the car and they would like that replaced or repaired or fixed or removed. Basically, they don't want their dangly bits dragging the ground anymore. So let's uh, let's get this thing up in the air and see what's going on. Onward to the lift we go. Let's see what's in here. We've got a 3.6 variable valve timing D6. Hmm, what is this? I detect the presence of crispy critters. It's not good. Oh yeah. Rat Gross. Oh yeah, the uh, little woodland creatures have definitely made a home out of this engine. Let's get that out of here. Let's see if they destroyed anything. I don't think they did. Yeah, I don't think they did. Looks good. We'll just get their house out. Sorry guys, you've been evicted. Uh oh, there's more of it down there. Gross. All right, let's go ahead and set the rack on this and uh, inspect for whatever's going on with that uh, skid panel thing. That's good. Good. Clearance. It's not fitting right there. It's good. Oh, you got me. Okay, taking a look down here. Uh, I'm not seeing a splash shield. I thought they said it had one, but I do see this tape business right here. I think this is what they were talking about. Something uh, hanging down. So let's lose the uh, adhesive repair action. The 200 mile per hour tape. Ooh, packing tape. Look, we got more of it. Nice. Okay, so we need to figure out how to make this go up here and stay here. I believe that is the task at hand. See, that one goes in there. Someone already tried to fix this before because this doesn't, that doesn't go here. That's like a door panel clip. Yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So let's lose this thing and we'll figure out another way to, to bond this piece to this piece and then we should be good. First things first, let's get this uh, door clip out of here. Goodbye. Uh, you know, it looks like uh, probably the zip tie mod is going to be the best bet here. I think that's uh, what we're going to go for. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we're going to go for. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I have a more better idea. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Better than a zip tie. Plastic rivets. Uh, this isn't going to work. Too small. Not going to work. Nikes. Alright, the rivet idea is not going to work, so I'll just use a pretty standard plastic push pin. I wanted to go like full NASA engineer on this, but looks like I'm just going to have to do that instead. However, I'm still not done because this, this isn't right because this panel is supposed to be on top of this panel right here. So we need to pull this guy back down. I was a little bit hasty with that maneuver. Do 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 again. Come out of there. 
get this guy out of here. This one's junk. Come out. That one goes up there. Then we put the push pin in. That's how that's gonna work. There we go. Yay, we got it, fixed it. Yeah, that's better, okay. I don't think it's got any more damage. It's not falling down. I accept this. All right, we're good to go here. Alrighty, next up is tire pressure cam. And uh, that will bring this to conclusion because that's all that they want. They wanted tire pressure checked and uh, something done about that uh, flippity floppity panel that's down there. I believe these are supposed to be 36 PSI. Let's check them. Mm, 35.4, close. Uh, too much, what have I done? Yeah, kind of a strange car. They only brought it in for that. The uh, oil changes do, but they don't want to do that right now. I think they do that at another place, according to the sticker and according to the customer. I think today is going to be a weird day. Next. I can't appreciate the fact that this van is in such good condition. Usually these are uh, junk piles. Uh oh, too much. There we go. Uno mas. And then we are complete. One more. Hey, look at that, 35.6. It's good. All right, guys, I guess that's gonna about do it for this video. Um, uh, kind of a lack of content on this one. I didn't get to do much. Uh, I cleaned up a rat's nest and put a couple plastic pins in. I guess that's worth something. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta put that cover over there back on. I must not forget that. There are shops out there that have collections of engine covers and skid panels and, you know, little extra optional components. Optional. And uh, it must need to go back on, in my opinion. They belong to the car, and the car needs them. Oh yeah, that one gets stuck. Dang, come here. Yeah, this one gets stuck, the lock doesn't release, so I have to manually pull the lock up. See little gears right there? Pull the lock up, and then I can swing the arm. It's on the list of things to get fixed, but I don't know how that goes sometimes. Rant over. More rat damage. I missed that one the first time around. Hope you enjoyed this one, although it's rather short and content deficient. I did what I could. Two honks for safety. Backing out. Transmission, parking the auto, powering down now. All right, moving on from a non job with that uh, caravan, we've got a 2009 Toyota Highlander. 161,928 miles, uh, customer states oil change. So, uh, looks like it's gonna be that kind of a day. Oh no, this is the worst. When the oil change stickers leave sticky stuff on the window tent. Yeah, see they got this little tent strip up here. Oh, that is so bad. Come off. And yeah, these things can delaminate the tint. Also not good. Anyway, let's uh let's get into the shop and start this uh this process here. Because today is quick lube day here at Ray's Repairs. Yay! Yeah, it's been pretty slow around here for the, for the past few days. Maybe maybe even a couple weeks, I suppose. But I guess with the threat of, uh, you know, our inflationary dollars and a looming economic downturn, I don't, uh, I don't fault people for holding on to their cash. I am. Testing. What's up? 
Oh, you're not even talking to me. Good battery. 600 cranking amps out of 750. I accept this. Don't judge me. It's kind of my thing. There. Better than it was. I made an improvement to the world. Efficiency located, zero 30 seconds of tread life left to be noted. Hey, same thing on the passenger side. Not good, das ist nicht gut. This one's good. Left rear is good, okay. Fix that. You know, uh, circling back Saki style to uh, that comment I made about economic downturn, usually in this business, uh, especially around tax time, we see an influx in work. Uh, that's usually the time of the year when people get all the stuff done that they had been putting off for, uh, for several months. And in this season, we didn't get any of that, which tells me people weren't getting tax refunds, they were getting, uh, they were getting tax bills. I don't know if those uh, stimulus checks had anything to do with it, or if or if the IRS has just come up with a clever way to uh, tax us even more. But that's just a phenomenon that I have uh, noticed looking back over time. You know, you pay attention to trends, and you can kind of predict things slightly. And uh, in this particular year, uh, the predictions and models have so far been inaccurate. Safety. Here, I found some 30 pound braided power pro. This is excellent fishing line. Just not for a leader. You don't use a don't use that for a leader. It could cut off real quick. Oh look, more power pro up here. Let's get that out of here. We don't need that. Oh, that reminds me, I almost ran over a uh, like a tie strap for a semi truck on the interstate this morning. And what I mean by that is I ran one over and I was definitely afraid that it was going to get wrapped up in an axle and, uh, and break my truck because it was one of them big like five inch wide ones. That could have been bad. Hey, I found some stuff wrong. What do we got here? Not terribly bad if the shock absorber is leaking. See that oil right there? That residue on the bottom of the shock? That's worth noting. Uh, let's see. Very similar condition on this one. Okay. Ow. Hit my noggin. Let's see. That one's leaking right there. Hmm. CV axle is leaking. See the boot right here. Look at that. Boot's broken. And it flung out a bunch of its grease. Let's check this side. That one also is leaking. Broken boot. And again, leaking shock. Okay. All right. I think we have a drain plug, right? Yeah, sure do. What we don't have is illumination. Let's uh, remedy that. There we go, lumens. So I think what I'll do here is drain this oil out. Reverse click. And then, while that's draining out, I'll go fetch my filter for efficiency. And then, I'll document all the stuff I found. And, uh, you know, go through our procedures, see what they want to do. Judging by the flavor of the day, I'm going to say some of that stuff's going to get declined. Ah, oil on me. But you never know. We'll see. All right, drain plug. Get back in your home. We're done with you. Click. Okay, so the thing is how yesterday's video left you guys at a deficit like the national budget. I'll make up for it today. All right, oil drain, you're coming with me. 
Toyota coming down. hiding because it's camouflaged but we're gonna see since this is a vertical filter let's see how much oil we're gonna spill removing this guy oh of course it's a uh, tight to 400 foot pounds wow let's re-grip and try again Turn, yeah. Lose filter. I shouldn't have said that. Come on. Ow. Oh, we're spilling. Put another towel down on the bottom. There's a drain hole in this little cup thing here. Put this one down at the bottom. Nasty. We can also put a styrofoam cup at the bottom of this. That also. Uh, serves to uh, facilitate the same purpose. Wipe that out nice like, get all the dirt out of it. Filter click. Now, as visible from our cap here, we need to install five Winter 30 motor oil, engine oil. Beginning engine oil installation sequence now. Six quarts, let's let it ride. Oh yeah, we're out of frame now. It's awesome. This is how I get through my day. Entertainment. Iron Man? Oh yeah, yeah, these are these are super high end tires. make up my mind. This one says overfilled, this one says underfilled. Let's try again. Survey says right here. Full. Yep. Good. Well, it's leaving. Uh, declined, 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 declined. They don't want to do anything to it, so this one's uh, this one's on its way out. Maybe third time's a charm. Uh, next car, that should do it. We'll get somewhere with the next car, don't worry. Bye-bye, Toyota. See you later.